Hello friends, welcome to Vidya's cooking channel. This is Vidya Lakshmi. Today I'm going to show you how I prepare this clam sukka. Clam sukka can be served with neer dosas, bread or even it can be eaten as it is as a starter. Here I've laid out all the ingredients required for the clam sukka. What I've done prior is clean the clams. So I've rinsed the clams in lukewarm water till it's opened and I rinsed it under running water to remove the excess mud which is inside the clams. I'll show you in detail how I clean the clams in a later video. So here the clams are cleaned and reserved. These are very tiny clams. It's meant for this recipe. Here I've reserved finely chopped onion, crushed garlic pods, ginger and garlic paste, finely chopped coriander and whole garlic. I'll be using chili powder, turmeric powder, garam masala powder, coriander powder, tamarind, cumin, peppercorns and freshly grated coconut. I've heated a wok on medium flame to prepare the masala and added 2 tablespoons of coconut oil. Now once my coconut oil has heated, I've added the peppercorns and cumin, allowed it to sputter a bit and added the whole garlic along with the curry leaves, ginger and garlic paste and half the amount of finely chopped onion. Here I'll be frying all these ingredients till the onion turns transparent. The other half of the onions and curry leaves I'll be using it in the masala. So as my onions are turning transparent, I've added the coconut, chili powder, garam masala powder. You can also use tandoori chicken masala. It's as per your preference. I'll fry all the ingredients. I've added ginger and garlic paste. At this point, I'll be adding my coriander powder. I'll also add the tamarind. Now we'll fry all the ingredients. You can see most of that oil is absorbed by the masala. Now once the masala has fried and the oil has completely absorbed, I've transferred it to a mixer jar. Without adding any water, I've ground it into a coarse paste. Now here is the masala paste that is ready. Don't add water, pulse it twice or thrice and grind it on one speed. Now in the same wok, I'll be adding coconut oil. Place this on medium flame. All the ingredients used in this recipe will be listed in the description box below this video. A detailed written recipe is posted on my blog. The blog link will be listed in the description box below this video or in the i-card above this video. Also like me and follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter friends for regular updates. All my social media handle links and my Tamil channel link will be in the description box below this video. Once the coconut oil has heated well, I've added garlic, the other half of the onions, curry leaves and the masala paste. And I'll be frying all these ingredients. So for the sukka, we need a good amount of masala, which can be dipped with some dosa and eaten. Now I've added the clams that is washed thoroughly. I'll also add the clam juice. That is half a glass of clam juice and salt as per taste. We'll mix all the ingredients. We'll fry the clams in the masala. Place this on low to medium flame, cover it and cook it for 15 minutes. Now you can see, after 10 minutes, the clams have cooked, it is opened and the masala is very well absorbed inside the clams. We can fry it for another minute and serve it as hot as possible. 
you can also add few drops of lime juice and coriander leaves as per your preference. Here I've garnished it with coriander leaves and served it as hot as possible. If you enjoyed watching this video recipe friends, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. All the links to my blog and social media will be listed in the description box below this video. Don't forget to try this recipe and post your comments. This is an excellent clam masala recipe that I've shown you which can be eaten with neer dosas or as it is. Until next time, this is Vidya Lakshmi. Thank you so much for watching.